Ubuntu, being a Linux distribution is something unique and has different objectives than Windows. So it feels pointless to compare it with Windows, but some aspects are comparable and I would like to discuss them here. This is Nageshwaran from Tom Page Official. Let's get started. I have divided the topic into pros and cons and let's discuss them one by one. Pro number one, Ubuntu is a free open source software. What is that free? The free word doesn't mean the cost of the operating system. It is the freedom to customize and access the root folders. That's what makes the difference. Windows has its source code copyrighted, whereas Ubuntu has its source code open. So, advantage of it, we can write the appropriate code and change and customize and get what we want. However, beware, that is not that easy. You have to learn the language completely thoroughly to do that. However, that's a nice option. Pro number two, Ubuntu doesn't eat much RAM. I had RAM management issues when I was using Windows 10 in my laptop. I had only 2.15 GB of usable RAM out of 4 GB when I used Windows. In case of Ubuntu, I'm having 3.7 GB of usable RAM. That makes sense. User friendliness. Windows no doubt is the most user friendly operating system. But Ubuntu is equally good and has a better user interface experience and doesn't take much time to get used to if you are already a Windows user. Free everything. That's interesting. First and foremost, the operating system is completely free and is available in Ubuntu's official website for download. We have Ubuntu Software Center similar to Windows stores and Almost all apps and files are free of cost. Malware resistance. Ubuntu is highly secure. Windows is used by around 90% of the total users. Whereas Linux distros are used very minimally. It's not always that Linux cannot be infected by virus. It can. But it's extremely rare. Why? Malware writers are actually paid for infecting .exe files and many softwares because Windows is used most extensively in the world. It is not that simple to write a code for virus in Linux as easy as infecting an exe file in Windows. And that's why Linux is almost virus free. And this aspect of Ubuntu makes it so reliable. Moving on to cons. People complain mostly about hardware compatibility issues. Some drivers aren't available for latest hardware stuffs. This is a problem which Ubuntu has considered and is being resolved gradually. Con number two, the most disastrous con. Running software in .exe files in Ubuntu. It is not impossible, it is possible. However, there are emulators like Wine and VirtualBox. They are not effective, they are not just effective. Running .exe file in Windows is different to running .exe file in Ubuntu. Despite the cons, if you want a safe and better performance, Ubuntu sure is extraordinary. My suggestion is to have a dual boot of Windows and Ubuntu. Whenever you want to do some light works like browsing the internet, making some downloads extra, you can use Ubuntu. Whenever you want to do some highly graphic oriented software development, playing games etc you can use windows and that gets the work done i just installed ubuntu out of curiosity and i'm now actually loving it if you want give it a try and i'm sure you will love it as well thanks a lot for watching please mention in the comment section in case of any doubt or any suggestions to improve please subscribe to our channel to help us grow and for more videos thank you once again